me is Alan Smith. Yeah, Martin, great to be here. And today it's Manchester City versus Manchester United. Manchester United, they're playing well at the moment. They certainly played well last time out in their home victory against Chelsea. Yeah, surprisingly so, 4-1. But uh, they're full of it at the moment. I think they might get themselves another win here. Frank Lampard, news coming through of his potential retirement. He's on the bench today. I'm not surprised either because he's been looking his age recently, probably feeling it as well. Manchester City's lineup today. Joe Hart starts in goal. Pablo Zabaleta starts with Gael Clichy as the wide defenders. Sami Nasri starts with James Milner out wide. And Dzeko is the main striker today. This is then the Manchester United lineup. David De Gea starts in goal. Raul Albiol starts with Simon Kerr in central defence. Nani starts a midfielder in good form. In attack, Falcao starts. He's been in tremendous form recently. It could be it. Offside call just at the moment where they thought they were going to be in to score. Yeah, they feel hard done by. They they think that was well onside. When they look at the replays tonight, they'll see that the linesman got it right. Rojo. Nani. I think there's a goal to tell you about from Alan McAnally at the Emirates. It's a goal for Burnley. Nine minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. This could be it, really in the clear now, in with a chance, superb from De Gea. It's Manchester City that uh, will catch the eye today, but only if they play up to scratch, because the opposition could really give them the sort of match that will push them all the way. I think they're going to have it all their own way, are they? I'm expecting a really tight contest. It's great resilience to ride that tackle and stay on his feet. Looking for Mata. And he's headed it well out of harm's way. And Clichy. Milner. And that's a cross the field to try and switch the play. There's something happening at Chelsea that we need to know about. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Chelsea. It's been scored by Eden Hazard. He picked the ball up on halfway turned the closest defender and striding forward beat the covering man for pace before hitting a low shot past the keeper 22 minutes played 1-0 thank you very much Alan great tackling technique to win the ball cleanly the Alba Raul Albiol Two really hit the heights, haven't they? Manchester City have got to do better in Europe, I guess. Yeah, I think they have. Uh, it takes time. You look at Manchester United and how long it took them, but uh, they're heading in the right direction. They made a better fist of it last season under Pellegrini. No shame in going out to Barcelona. That's going to be a corner. I think uh, any football fan will say when the rain comes down like it's coming down now it's going to add to the thrills a few spills possibly well it normally does doesn't it and i always used to like it because uh, it quite often I meant you've got a few more chances in the box with the uh, bounce of the ball and what have you that's right eddie injector manchester united have won the ball back here Nani. And Clichy. Let's get across to Goodison Park and Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Everton. It's been scored by Stephen Naismith. He picked the ball. Got to be. There's still a chance after the save. What a game involving Everton. Alan McAnally almost lost for words there. And that's the first goal of the game. It's 1-0. Tries his luck. Looking ahead, Alan, Manchester City's next game. They're playing Queen's Park Rangers in their next match in the Barclays Premier League, and I can see only one winner. I think they'll find it pretty easy. Manchester 
Miller. In quickly. Well, that is half time, and the score is nil nil here. Easy on the eye this first half with two teams trying to go about it the right way, and certainly in terms of efforts at goal, they are very, very close, aren't they? Yeah, no shortage of action in the penalty areas, but uh, which set of strikers, I wonder, can be that a little bit more clinical to, to get the decisive strikes? Really heavy clouds here, no sign of a break in the weather, and certainly no sign of a break in the rain. Fernando, not panicking in possession here, keeping the ball, still looking for the chance. Angel Di Maria. Angel Di Maria was missed by Argentina. The injury that kept him out of the closing matches in the World Cup finals. Milner. Yaya Toure. stretched and he's made a fine diving save that's gone out for a throw in substitution in progress going on now is on EA Sports quick Frank jog Lampard. of your memory the Premier League fixture for Manchester United they'll be hosting oh he's through keeper will come out and collect that Yaya Toure. Free kick against Manchester United. The referee has shown the player a yellow card. Yeah, that player's just got to be careful now. Fair portion of the match to go. Goalkeeper makes the save and it's a clean save too. Doesn't drop the ball. Be a substitution, it's going to be Manchester City to make it. Return pass. Here's the cross. Lampard hit the post. Milner out back off the post. Rojo. Wayne Rooney. There was a moment of satisfaction for Wayne Rooney. He scored against Uruguay to get on target again in a major tournament but of course he couldn't help England get out of that particular group in Brazil 2014 that's a real tussle for the ball well that's widened the game here and they've got it to Toure goal off the post and in because it hit the post, could have come out, and it went. Well, when that happens, the keeper's got no chance whatsoever. Well, it's Manchester City in front. Substitute is ready for Man City. Rojo. Falcao. And now it's with Wayne Rooney. And hits it. And Manchester United have made it count, they've scored. Goal from Rooney. Well, that's just exquisite, isn't it? To find the top left with a side foot. That takes real cunning, real confidence. Different angle on it here. We're all level again. 1-1 the score. Goal for Manchester United. 
Miss Lampard. Number 10. 1-1 one, one here. Rain. Time Rain. ticking away. We look ahead to their next game, Alan. Well, Manchester United go up against Crystal Palace after this. And you have to say, they certainly haven't hit top gear here. The manager will be looking for an improvement. Well, let's go over to the Emirates Stadium and hear from Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Arsenal. It's been scored by Abu Dhabi. A powerful curving effort from about 40 yards out. Five minutes remaining. 3-1. Cheers, Alan. Wayne Rooney. Falcao. Could cross it from here. Got to be. Well, kept the shot out. It's still in play. If it's Manchester United to win the game, they've got to get it now. And he's got his block in, and the cross doesn't get into the middle. Manchester United corner. Possibilities here for them. Manchester United, with great backing, and they have fans literally from all around the world. Well, that is the thing with this club. They are global, incredibly famous, perhaps the most famous in the world. Vialba. Game over. 1-1. Well, today the bragging rights in this part of the world have been shared.